Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Wow. Welcome to Saturday. It's a Saturday. Okay, this is not the Halloween special. <laughs> no, it's unfortunately. Not. It's okay. I hope everyone had a good week. How was everyone's yeah. week? Ours was good week. pretty good, I guess. Good week. Very meh. Very mid. We were very just mid. talking about it right before we filmed. Like, I feel like everything about this week was very like. Meh. Yeah. Like, nothing too sales exciting. Were, sales were, eh. School was okay. Kids are getting spring fever. I'm getting spring fever. It was mm -hmm. like 40, 50 degrees all week here, which is insane. And so everybody's like, I don't care about anything. I just want to go outside. Yeah. And that was very fun. Unfortunately, though, that ended on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Minnesota's been having like this crazy, amazing like heat wave as in like a winter where it's been like 50 degrees for like a week in a row and we've all been living it up that like you, you could tell the minnesotans that it's miami and we would believe you like oh. it has been fantastic the people are outside the yeah. activities are happening there were kids playing soccer the other golf day. courses were opening like patios at restaurants were opening but that ended so now we're back to normal winter which is fine it's hard to complain <laughs> normal winter being it's 30 degrees yeah. it's sunny and there's no snow yeah it's hard to complain when it's like that, but Next week it just it just makes you like itch for spring. Like I'm so excited for nice weather now. I can't That's wait it. to sit on the patio. I can't wait for bonfires. I can't wait for grilling. I'm excited. And a lot of my spring projects are outside because I hate being cooped up in a classroom. Well, it was very, like, mid, normal, meh, kind of for everything. Like, the weather was very meh. The activities yeah. of the week was meh. We did go to the bins together on mm -hmm. Monday, which was really fun and exciting. Because of that, I didn't go any other day this week. So my week was actually kind of like, I was, like, sitting around, like, piddling my thumbs. I was kind of like, <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> like, Where am I? Yeah, I definitely could have went to the bins twice, but I do have a lot of inventory. So it's okay that I didn't. So that was meh. And then sales, like... I had quite a good amount of sales, mm -hmm. but none were like exciting. It was just a good amount. Like it was a very respectable week. I would not say, yeah. I wouldn't use the word bad, but I also wouldn't use the word like good. I had a weird like lull in the middle of my week where there was like three or four days where I didn't have any. And then thankfully like, whoa, we really kind of picked it up toward the weekend, yeah, which is nice. And like, you know, it saves me on shipping. And I do think it was good because we started a whole bunch of new projects this week. So it was nice to be like, okay, I'm not happy that I'm not making money, but I am happy that I have a little bit more time to like- To work on your other job. Yeah, yeah. Get, get some of the other life stuff done. I actually will, as I hinted at, I think in Ryan's hall, I do have a deep hop sale to talk about that's kind of like an actually good one and then i have quite a few ebay and then of course we got poshmark yes. i have a couple of bebop got a couple of ebay really was like holding her own this week which was really nice i did a lot of cross posting ebay this I week i tried i'm trying to just when i list it i just list it on everything so i just like boom 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 and yeah. go down the little list of websites and just get them done but enough talking about us we have yeah. someone else to talk about yes right now. We do. and that is the valentine vip of the week and this week our valentine vip is rachel miss rachel so rachel's <sighs> poshmark closet is rachel b 68 which is r-a-y-c-h-e-l-b-6-8 she has all kinds of good stuff as for all of our valentines she has some taste sun makers. dance she has all kinds of lululemon she has abercrombie and fitch jeans some like really cute ones the like 90s flare dad or something like that they're really cute mm -hmm. lots of made well and she's even got some alexander mcqueen she's got a, a couple of a couple of high-end yeah, ones some gems in, in there. there. So go 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 dig around for the gems in Rachel's closet. Yeah. She'll be the first link below. Go leave some comments. Go give yes. some likes. Go give her some shares. But just be sure to give her some love. Everybody say love. If you cannot tell, I'm sick this week, so I don't think I'm going to scream. Love. <laughs> we'll, we'll save it for Better than time. last week. I, I saw some comments saying, oh, I was waiting for Jack to attempt to do the love. But instead, I did this really <laughs> poor edit of putting you in the video. Oh, I love and it, it didn't work well I at all. It. But there was nothing else I could do because it was already filmed. But anyways, okay. Rachel, thank you so much for being a Valentine. And thank you to all of our Valentines for being Valentines. We really appreciate it. Much appreciated, everybody. Thank you. So and before we jump into the sales, we actually do have three P.O. Box packages that we're going to open at the end. One of them is from Amazon and two appear to be possibly from Anthropology. So we're really excited about that. So stay tuned till the end if you want to see open those yes so let's move on to the sales and i don't know if i said it but this is the week of the third through the ninth and we will start off i guess with depop because i only 
have one on there? I have two. I'm going to start off with mine because it's kind of interesting. And it's a new trend that mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people have heard about, but maybe not everyone. Oh, we'll yeah. inform you guys. So this is a brand R13. They were these Japanese denim leopard print distressed slim jeans. They were leopard and they were like basically skinny, though they were more of like a slim straight. Mm -hmm. So this probably doesn't really look like something that's like super in style right oh, now. Oh, come on. Being, being like skinny jeans, being printed denim. Like mm -hmm. usually this is kind of a recipe for for a stale not sale. Um, R13, though, I will say, is a really, really expensive brand. These are like $700 jeans, so that too. Don't know why. But the second phrase after R13 in my title is mob wife. And I use hashtag mob wife. I use hashtag mob boss, hashtag leopard, and hashtag animal print. And you might be like, what in the world are you talking about? So one of the latest trends with mm -hmm. like the girly pops and the de pop de pop people is mob wife aesthetic. And what that means is like faux fur. <laughs> it is the antithesis of clean girl. Faux fur, <laughs> leopard print, leather, a lot of black, a lot mm -hmm. of sleek. So like picture. Jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. Big sunglasses. Gold jewelry. Yeah. Yes. Picture like a stereotype of like a mob wife or like a mob woman, basically, <laughs> is like really popular. It's kind of so, cool. I kind of enjoy it. Kind of think of like when Coastal Grandma was in, this is just like the new like aesthetic. There's the new, always the new person. There's the new persona something. that the kiddos have created. So if you have leopard print, if you have animal print of any kind, if you have black leather or maybe dark leather, mm -hmm. or if you have like faux furs, probably put them on Depop quickly because we all know trends come and go in a week. He immediately hashtag the mob wife, put mm -hmm. mob wife in your title and Watch see if they sell. sell. So these sold for 75 is what I was going to say. I had the price at 175 was a great offer. That's a good Depop offer. On Posh, I don't think they had any likes. My one on Depop. 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 I don't really know if two. this would be, well, my one of two. I don't think this is a mob wife moment. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Steve Madden, Y2K, faux croc, pointed toe, silver, sling back heels. These were really cute. I love finding a little like Y2K Steve Madden moment because I think people still be like out for those. There's like the boots. If you ever find the like chunky Steve Madden like 90s, 90s boots, yeah. that's like a hundred dollar sale. Yeah. Quite good. These sold for $40 and I will make something after the Depop fee. And then my last on the Depop moments was this Black Milk, which is kind of like an obscure, like, raver brand, I guess you could call it. I don't really know if they exist anymore. They were the first ones that ever did, way back in the day on Tumblr, they did the, like, cross leggings mm. with the galaxy print all over it. That was, like, the Black Milk stuff. And now they've been knocked off to the nth degree. This was a faux leather belt with these little, like, chain details on it. This was really fun. Sold for $45, and I will make something after the Depop feed. 2010s. 2010. 2010s. <laughs> we're, sell we're selling printed skinny jeans Stop and it. Tumblr aesthetic. 2010s. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. No, I not am either. not ready for that. All right, let's move on to eBay now. So on eBay, I actually have five sales to talk about. I had five as well. Dang. Look at me go. Ding dong. Ding dong. This is amazing. So my first anyway. sale oh. was from one of my favorite brands to sell, Nation LTD. Cue the edit of Ryan like going out and then suddenly he's back in because I always cut out the coffee. And to cough. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime we suddenly like move like stick people, it's because someone like sneezed or coughed or like. Or I have to yawn. Yeah. One of those. I try to get those too. Yeah. This was the Lauren Smocked Peasant Tee and it's over $36 on eBay. Usually I expect this brand to sell on Posh, so it's great that it sold on there. That did mm -hmm. not sell through promotion. Then I sold this pair of Tory Burch Grove Open Toe Block Heeled Mules. These are not like a super in style, so these actually only sold for $37.72 through promotion, mm -hmm. but I'm happy they sold anyways. Yeah. Then a really high-end brand and if you don't know it though I assume all of you do write it down it is called Lauro Piana mm -hmm. this was an amazing bins find it was this v-neck cotton knit puff sleeve blue pullover it sold for only 90 but that's because this is an older piece and it is just cotton they're wools and cashmere's and stuff yeah like the finer I expect, material I expect hundreds of dollars oh, for that plural. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I get, but that did not sell through its promotion. Then I sold these J. Crew front pocket denim shorts for twenty one, and those went international, which I thought was kind of interesting. Those did so cute. Not sell through promotion. And then my last of the week on eBay was this J. Crew wool ruffle trim button coat. It did sell through its promotion, and it sold for fifty five. I spent like a million hours lint rolling and making sure this thing was like oh, just brand new. That's so, the tough part. I put in the work for this fifty five dollars. We worked for that money. Yeah, I know. It was almost hard for me to... Because I had this listed at 90, and I was like, do I want to sell for that much because of how much work I put in? But I was like, sure. 
whatever. Sir. Yeah. I bought it to sell it. I worked on it to get it That's sold. That's literally so. the job. We have yeah. to get the things ready yeah. to sell. But at least it's not in the town. No. My first on eBay was a Michael Lauren black granny square crew neck sweatshirt. It was really cute. It had these little granny square like patches going all the oh, way down yeah. the sleeves. Adorable. Sold for $30 plus shipping. My next one was a little surprising. I thought this would be a Depop sale, honestly. And I have like three more of these. Y2K a dead stock beaded pastel fair isle turtleneck sweater. These were dead stock Rue 21. Oh, yeah. Way back when Rue 21 must have been like the moment because these are like wool and they have all these little beads put on. Yeah. They're super detailed. They're and they were super like well made, made in the US or something. Yeah, it's really <laughs> Wild. Route 21 hasn't stepped foot in the U.S. in like no. 50 years. Probably. Literally. <laughs> this sold for $30 and I will make something buyer paid shipping. My next on eBay, it was a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch men's jeans. These were new tags, the 90s straight. I think I found these in the bins, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, which was super nice. These sold for $35 via promoted listing and I will make something. This was also a promoted listing. It was this BDG Urban Outfitters V-neck little sweater. This was a turnstile pickup not too long ago. Sold for $28. My Urban cute. like Loki kind of does good on eBay. Every now and again, I'm just like, oh yeah. That's cute. Why don't I throw it over there? Buyer paid shipping on that one as well. And my last one was also a promoted listing. This was a another little turnstile find. The Mew Mew, I'm not even gonna try and say the name of these. They were these white cat eye rassure. Little sunglasses. Miss Beyonce wore them. Oh, they were worn right. by the Queen Bee herself. These sold for one hundred and seventy-five dollars. I have these listed at like two twenty-five, two fifty, somewhere in there. One hundred and seventy-five bucks for a pair of sunglasses. I think I paid thirty-five or forty dollars for them. Something. Buyer paid shipping on those as well. So moving on to Posh, and we're starting off on the third. On the third, I had four. I had two. My first sale was this Love Shack Fancy and Target Camille tiered cotton dress. Mm -hmm. As we said, the Love Shack Fancy collaboration does really well, they especially if it's the cotton pieces. I don't, I, they might all be cotton, I think but I know are. the cotton stuff definitely does like the best. Yeah. Sold for 42 and I get 33.60 and that is a Target item. Oh. I remember when we found like truckloads of those I know. back in Yeah, the because day. Target Corp is from Minneapolis. So we so they donate sometimes everything. the collaborations, certain ones, we'll find like tons of it. They'll but, give it to thrift stores and they'll literally just have yeah. like racks of old Which Target usually stuff. Usually isn't a good thing. I mean, if there's something that I've been keeping my little my little eye on, I'm like, yeah. let me go find it on my side. Yeah. <laughs> then I sold one of my favorite styles of J. Crew blazers. It is the J. Crew Going Out Blazer. This was a plus size one. So I put plus size in the title. I don't know if that like helps or not i think it sometimes think does, it does especially when cross posting to ebay i think having like the word plus and a plus size thing can help but this sold for 76 dollars and i get 60 80 i got this from i think an, like a unique maybe for like nine bucks but the going out blazer is like an open blazer there's no buttons or anything it kind of just like curves in Cute. every time i have them they do amazing then i sold this is from my own personal collection silver lake straight baggy dad london jeans London is the style. Silver Lake, we've said it, we'll say it again. If you don't have a pair, buy yourself a pair. It is the Such best amazing jeans. brand of jeans. It feels like you're wearing like flannel pants. They're so comfortable, they're so comfortable. but they're such high quality denim at the same time. These sold for 90, I get 72, but when I find them or when we find them, we usually pay about like 50, 60 maybe. So I still made like my money back on those. Oh yeah. And mm -hmm. Silver Lake is a total bolo. The jeans retail for like $400. They're so expensive. But you can find them steals of a deal if you go looking mm -hmm. so look on real real look on posh people like undersell them all the time then my last and the third was this love bonito elias bias linen dress this was like some new little brand i'd never heard of i found this in the bins these dresses Cute. are like 80 bucks new but the comps are like 30 to 40 so not bad little bread and butter so moment. for 24 i get 19 20 i would definitely pick it up again if i saw it in the bins for Cute. sure my first on the third was a sorel men's black a little chore quilted jacket it's for $42 and I will make $33.60. My next was this Tory Burch Black Wool Blend White Trim Dress. It was like a patent leather trim. Sold for $20 and I will make $16. On the fourth, for some reason I had eight. I had two. 
I don't remember if I like sent lower offers out or something that day, but something must have happened. My first one was this Free People Feeling It Boho Embroidered Top. This was really cute, but I've had it for a really long time. It sold for 28 and I get 20, 38. Then I sold this Coach Vintage Court 9879 Black Leather Bag. I actually just recently listed this one. The crossbody has been replaced and I actually got this thing like really zhuzhed up at our- mm -hmm. um, Our wonderful cobbler. Yes, not Taylor, uh. cobbler. So I actually had a decent amount of money I just remembered that I have had something sitting at the tailor for like two weeks. Okay, that's on my list to do Monday. Anyway. That's so raven. That's literally where I went. Oh, she's gonna, <laughs> oh, she's gonna get mad. So okay. I actually did have like some money invested into this because I had got it when like Coach Vintage was like mm -hmm. the moment doing yeah. so good. Still does like pretty good, but not nearly as good. So it only sold for a hundred. I probably had like sixty invested in this, so I'm not making much because I get eighty. But that thing was so nice. Whoever bought that got a like that thing so was judged up. It was almost like when Coach repurposes them or whatever. Oh, like, it, it was, was so nice. nice. Then Eileen popped into my closet, and Eileen wanted to get herself a new coat. So oh, Eileen cool. got this Patagonia Long Down Lydia Parka coat. Sold for fifty eight to Eileen. I get forty six forty. So thank you very much, Eileen. Then Melanie popped into my closet. The, Melanie. The coach queen herself, but she Love did not her. buy coach this time. She rescued that sheep graphic vintage sweater. The brand was Acorns. Oh. It was from the haul. I saw like a couple comments say that, cause I like jokingly was like, if anyone wants it before I get rid of it, like I'll do it for 15 with $5 shipping. Yeah. So a couple comments said that they'd actually be interested in it. And I was like, Okay, we'll throw, I'll throw it happens. up and if someone's yeah. like serious about that, go ahead. And Melanie was the one who decided to pop on that. She said. And she rescued it and she said that she loves it. So thank you so much, Melanie. Good for her. Then I sold the Saison Buckle Croc Embossed Leather Boots. Bins find in the past month. Great find. Mm -hmm. Sold for 100 and I get 80. Next up, Pottery Barn Linen Belted Gray Wrap Robe. This also was a recent bins find. Sold for 28, I get 20, 38. Of course, Pottery Barn robes are like 100 new. So definitely get them if a you robe see them. from a furniture store. Interesting. It's like getting yeah. the robe from Ikea that I almost bought. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's like a bathroom linen. <laughs> then I sold this pair of Anthropology Mother Hustler straight oh, leg man. white jeans. Sold for 115 and I get 92 which is great. White jeans. We have entered the season. Yep. Cool. Then I sold this Anthropology pair of Maeve seamed trouser pants for 39 and I get 31 20. Perfect. My first on the fourth was a pair of Hot Topic black white striped zipper pants. These sold for $20. I make $13.02. Bins fine. These were a pair of pants that Jack gave me from Unique, so thank you. Urban Outfitters Kimchi Blue Grunge something 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 something. Title got cut off. $28. I make $19.42. Then moving on to the fifth, this is when like kind of a slump starts for a couple days. Yeah. For me on the fifth, I had two. None. So my first sale on the 5th went to Denise. So hello, Denise, and thank you Denise. so much for shopping. She uh, got the Everive Eleanor Slubbed Cotton Gauze Blouse. So cute. So Barbie core. I like Everive. I really I'm like I'm going to say that on the internet now. I like Everive. I really like selling it. I am going to look out for it mm -hmm. next time I see the thing. This sold for 35 I get 28 So thank you so much to Denise. I think Denise, as I was taking my screenshots, she was like reviewing this. Like she left a review right after I took the screenshot. And I think she left a comment saying that she wants to see dog outfit videos. Oh my God. How which cute. is a hilarious and amazing idea. It's almost Will's birthday, by the way. <gasps> Will's birthday is on the 22nd. So two, he's almost two, two. one. Two, two. He turns, and he's he turns tiny. one on two, 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 three. Oh my God. Well, no, he was born two, 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 two three. Two. But he's going to turn one on two, 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 four. He's yeah. so small. He didn't tiny. really grow that much. Tiny. <laughs> he is very tiny. So my next one on the fifth was another Evereve one. And this was a find from a normal Goodwill. This was so cute. Evereve University plaid double-breasted blazer. So this was doing really, really, really well. Sold for 36, I get 28.80. I paid like nine bucks for it. Totally worth it. Would 100% do that again. Yeah. Then on the sixth, I once again had two. <clears throat> My first sale, this might sound familiar, <laughs> was this Ralph Lauren purple collection striped pair of men's silk trousers. So I sold them in a bundle last week, if you guys remember. And I have looked 
up, down, under, around, I all in, inside of, outside of, everywhere. For the other item, they bought like a Duluth trading coat. She's gone. She's the gone. ghosts took it. I don't know Experience where the it went. Spirits needed a new coat. But the guy still wanted the pants, so they sold for 50. Now you get 37 98 Perfect. And then my other on the six was this Bowden printed Lola jersey dress for 25 and I get 20. Then on the seventh, we picked up a little bit more and I had five. I didn't have any. This is what I'm talking about, my like, my yeah. low. My first set was this pair of Spanx faux leather brown high leggings. So for 36, I get 25.82. I definitely just think you need to price Spanx quite a bit lower than we yeah. were all used to doing. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this Old Navy 2023 green velvet button blazer. Really cute. So cute. This is the one that Van Vanessa Leone, is that her name? Natasha Leone. Natasha Leone. I don't know why I thought it was Vanessa. She would always wear this in the Old Navy commercials yeah, around she Christmas. she is this wearing exact this set one. in the commercials. Mm -hmm. Sold for 31, I get 21.82. Then I sold my first ever, Lisa says, Gah. What is Lisa talking about? I don't know. Can somebody tell me? This was the Helena V neck varsity sweater. So adorable. So Very cute. like varsity look. Sold for 62 and I get 47.58. I had never tried that brand, but then I sold these Tiva Sun and Star and Moon printed strappy sandals. <laughs> Tiva Star Sun Moon strappy sandals. <laughs> I've sold these before. And I think your sister actually owns these. She... I love these Tevas. My... I would consider, if I could find them in my size, I would totally... My little granola girl sister. I, I would totally wear them. Come summertime, these are glued to her feet. Yeah. She wears this decrepit pair of Nikes <laughs> the rest of the year. And then she wears these Tevas. Yeah. Like I said, I've sold these before. And these were actually sold at, like, Urban. They I think Free sold People sold them. Yeah. Dolls Kill sold them. So mm -hmm. you can kind of list them under anything. These sold under Teva. I think this time... I only listed them under Tiva and they sold for 31. I get 22.78. Next up, another one of my favorite J. Crew styles, J. Crew Sophie Open Pink Sweater Blazer. Sold it's for Sophie! Sold for 39. I get 29.18. And that's it for my seventh. On the eighth, I had four. I thankfully resurrected my sales week and I had five. Yeah, you like broke out of your tomb. Literally. You like that turned last from nail stone just got flicked out of that coffin and I said, We up. <laughs> my first set was this pair of anthropology hi hi or hey hey. I still have not seen still a comment. Don't know. I still haven't seen a comment telling me what it actually is. And usually you guys like always tell me when I don't know. I but have no clue. you need to guide me. Help. Lavender joggers. They sold for twenty seven. I get nineteen fifty eight. Then I saw this free people knit green beanie hat. For 15, I get 12. Bin's fine. Probably cost me like a nickel. Then I sold this Ibex Woolies one base layer quarter zip. Woolies, I don't know if it's like some certain line of theirs, but it said Ibex Woolies in it. Interesting. So, Ibex is a big bolo. It's yeah. like the not as expensive sister of Arcteryx. Yeah. Well, it's like Smart Wool's cousin. Yeah. Because like I wouldn't say it's better, but I wouldn't say it's worse. No. Smart Wool, I think, has a little more, like, reputation behind they it. They got a little bit more brand. So it does a little bit better, yeah. but they have, like, the same retail, and they usually go for, like, the same price. So for Good 34 stuff. I get twenty-seven twenty. Then I sold a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch skinny high busted knee jeans for 30 and I get 24 That's, like, an example of a pair that I probably wouldn't really pay almost anything for anymore. And that was it for my eighth. My first on the eighth was a pair of, I will say this with an asterisk, most of these shoes from this brand do a lot better than these did. I think these are just a little, a little different. This was a pair of number six, new school clog. These were a green pony hair, which is just, I don't know. Interesting thing. I don't know too many people that are wearing pony hair clogs to begin with, but then when you put a green, and I will defend green to the ends of the earth. It gave um, like Shrek cosplay. <laughs> Or Grinch. You know, it did. It gave, like, Portland Grinch. I can't say I've ever seen a green horse. I can't. I either. assume that those are dyed. <laughs> I don't know. It was... All natural was green giving, pony hair. It was giving... Interesting. I'll say it that. It was giving... Dr. To be Minnesotan, it was giving... Oh, that's interesting. Those shoes are really interesting. I haven't seen shoes like that before. These sold for 48, I make 35, 42. I paid $30 for these because the brand does really well. I'm not doing that again. I didn't you lose any money. Oh. Yeah. You have had luck with that brand. I know. I do. But you're when like the only like, person that does. When they're like normal. When Which they're not so like a green pony like, hair. And clogs, fine. like handmade clogs in general can go for like a lot. But mm -hmm. then like you slap a name brand on it and they lose value. I think these were, so it was weird. because they were a green pony hair. Yeah. You know, it's like finding a green pony hair Louis Vuitton bag. Made of unicorn. I don't, that's a very small market. 
My next on the 8th was a very good sale. This was a Furla Metropolis tattoo print little chain shoulder bag. This sold for $100 minus a shipping discount. I will make $77.02. That one I paid up for. I paid $29. And I think that was a good little buy. Turn yeah. 20 into 70. Walk away with a cute little $50 bill in my pocket. Not mad. This broke my heart. This was an American Apparel Fisherman Knit dark gray sweater. I used to have an original cream Fisherman's Knit sweater when I was in high school. And for some reason that I cannot grasp, I got rid of it. I don't know where it ended up. I miss her so bad. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can just go buy one. Like, we have money. Here we go. They changed it. They changed the knit. It's not the same. It's not the same. And it makes me so... I don't like change. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Not with this. Sold for $30. I will make $24. If anybody has the original one in a size extra large, a cream fisherman's knit sweater, call me. I will buy it from you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. My next one, speaking of TED Talks, I don't know why this has anything to do with TED Talk. Miss Melanie pops into my closet and she got herself a really Melanie, cute bundle. Melanie, known for lengthy and informative TED Talks. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> I don't know, maybe, hopefully. Could you imagine she comments and she's like, actually she's my profession like, is giving She's like, I do hold the world record talks. for the most TED Talks yeah, given by probably, one woman. Probably, she's at like- At 1.9 million. She's like, why coach is the most trustable, lovely, lovable, believable. She got, the, she got the receipts to back that up, so that wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, she bought this adorable little bundle of the Anthropology Akimi Kin, a little striped waffle knit basic t-shirt, and she got the blue corduroy jacket that oh, had the like, VIP on the sleeve. The, like blanket jacket. That's deserved. Thing. That's yeah. very deserved for her. A little morning coffee moment, throw that on. Ooh, so cute. She got it for $54, and I will make $43.20. Thank you, Melanie. That, I think, paid for most of the bits all. Nice. And I think this next sale put me over the edge. The Clark's Y2K 90s Camel Brown Mid-Calf Boot with the Clark's keychain on it. I love that keychain. That was so cool. Sold for $48. I will make $38.40. I think everything from that trip now is perfect. It's free. <laughs> on the 9th, the last day was on Saturday, I had four. I had two. My first sale was this Everlane Alpaca Knit Pullover Crew Neck Sweater. This is kind of a flash forward because this mm -hmm. is something I found when we just went to the bins. What you will see on Tuesday, and then we will have a haul coming up on Thursday of this. Yeah. So this sold for 40 and I get $29.98. Then I sold this Anthropology Mave Bliss Floral Fruit Blouse for 35 and I get 28. Good little bread and butter. Then I sold this Free People Lead the Way Camel Parka Jacket. This thing has done horrible for Ooh. some reason. Terrible, dreadful, just terrible. Poor thing. Sold for 35 and I get 28. Bye. See ya. Get out. Don't come back. What does Lori call it? Lori Tata. Lori Tata. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> then I sold this Anthropology Tiny Floral Printed Ruched Blouse for 27 and I get 1862. Good. My first on the ninth is a really cute little kids bundle of this Puma Kids Black little velcro sneakers mm. the disney aladdin really adorable pippa and whatever her name is oh yeah little dress and then this really cute disney vintage kids mickey and minnie little cardigan oh, so precious if i ever have a kid i'm gonna be like do you still have that <laughs> can i buy it i'll back? be like can i buy that back from you if that's not like a yeah. deeply cherished family memento i would only buy mini rodini Oh, immediately. Bundle sold for $40, and I will make $32. My next on the ninth was another vintage sale. Vintage 70s Austin, Texas. I think this was supposed to be Austin, Minnesota. But it just says Austin. It said Austin, and it was red and white. And, like, what do the Texans have? Hometown pride and a flag with red and white in it. So perfect. Sold for $36, and I will make $25.82. Nice. So... After all those sales, my gross for this week was thirteen oh three, one thousand three hundred and three. Pretty decent, yeah. but like it was a lot of sales to get there. Mm -hmm. My gross for Poshmark this week was four hundred sixty six dollars, which I feel like is very safe, very safe. And my net was one thousand forty two and forty cents. Mine it was three seventy two eighty. Yeah. Which so of course good. I'm very happy, especially net wise, to break a thousand. Like that's definitely yes. like the goal. That's always the goal. Always. Okay. So like we said in the beginning, oh, we do the fun stuff. have two PO box packages to open. Three. So I'm gonna grab those quick. Jump at it. Begin now. I have I have acquired the boxes. So we have about two boxes like this ooh, size. Ooh. 
Ryan hasn't looked in, but he did kind of No, I did open it, because there is a healthy amount of the air pack, which these, I love. These are the anthro ones, which I'm so excited about. And then we have, yeah, no addresses, no. but we have an Amazon one. So we'll do the Amazon one first. And I will say for both of these, I so hope if you wrote a letter or a note, I hope they included it. Because like, sometimes I've heard from people that they, you like did write one and Amazon just like, they just no. forget about it. That's so annoying. This feels so, like a book. Yeah, it says it's Ryan and Jack. So, and it just says from Amazon. So hopefully there's a note in there. Let's open it. I also love these Amazon envelopes. Oh, they're so I use good them reviews. all the time. Oh, thank the Lord. There's a note. Oh, good. Okay. From a longtime viewer subscriber, hope you enjoy, Laura Davis from Laura Davis. Oh, thank hi, you, Laura. Laura. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, how sweet. And what do we have? Da 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 da. This is super so, Is this a coloring book? Fashion. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, cool. It's just like different drawings. This is so it's cool. It's just like a. I don't. Yeah, is it? A it's coloring like a little book? fashion. I don't think so. Guess coloring and guessing game book. Oh, it is a coloring book. Good. Okay, Laura. Now I have a reason to sometimes. Oh, oh my gosh! They even have like well done as a brand, which is like oh, this is so cool. Fashion and art, meat and K-pop. Yeah, well done. Wow. Interesting. This is so cool. I've never. <gasps> Diane Von Turf and Turf. <laughs> oh my god, look at her. I don't even need to read the hints. I can just guess by the like. This is so fun. Okay, so now I have a reason to like this take a break so sometimes when I'm working. Cool. Who, who puts That's this awesome. on? Oh, it's by her. Oh. Duh. So go buy Laura's book on oh Amazon. Oh my gosh, yeah. If you have kids, this is so cool. Oh, we'll link that below. Absolutely. Oh, immediately. Or if you, not if you have kids, because I'm excited to go through this and like figure oh out. Oh my gosh, here. Mischief. Those big red boots. This is like. This is so this is amazing. Okay, this just became so much cooler. The founder. Oh, okay. And then there's like a little phrase under it, and you're supposed to guess. Thank you, Laura. It's so, That's Laura, awesome. if you drew these, these are beautiful drawings. Okay. Okay. That's fascinating. Thank you, Laura. Okay, so let's move on to Anthro, and you can start with your big old box, and then yeah. I'll do the smaller box. Okay. And thank you, whoever, because I now have your real box. I love can... an air pack moment. We also are out of. Bubbles. Yay! Okay, I thought that was a note. Is that a note? Yeah. What is this? Oh my gosh, we finally got notes with everything. I, I think. don't think. I think yes, it's, uh, Happy New Year from A and B Thrifting. A and B is like the most generous, kind person, and they like don't comment, so we never no. know more information than the fact that they're A and B Thrifting. I'm I'm so excited. This was what we have. Okay. Love. Let's cut into her very carefully. We've gotten some, I think, glasses from her. Oh, we have some beautiful summer martini glasses yes. that I'm so excited to bust out this summer. Yeah, we're finally getting our like bar area downstairs like truly figured out and set up. So, so we can finally perfect. use our pretty glass with it. I know. Okay. It's a Saturday, so we can use whatever we can. Yeah. Oh. I think glasses. What do we think? I think cups. I think glasses. I think um, drink and accoutrement. Oh my gosh, they're little oh. vases. Oh, that is so Oh, this like iridescent blue. These are beautiful. These are like vintage inspired. Like, oh, they're all different. Is. Oh my god. This glass is so like like the how it's like kind of um almost like foggy. It gives like a vintage like look. These are so pretty. They're and little it's bud vases. Set. They're little bud vases. So you put like one little flower. A and B. Ryan goes design. crazy buying stems of flowers. So. You're you have me. enabled me to do a lot of damage next time I go to Trader Joe's. And then there's a little oh, mini little one. <sighs> I love these colors. Look at her. These are so cute. Also in our guest room, oh. we have this whole like kind of plant terrarium okay, setup. Okay, so we thing. have the little yellow, the green, the little purple, and the blue. Oh my gosh. Those are These so are so precious. Cute. I'm so excited yes. to put little flower stems in these. Oh my gosh. There's three things in here. And once again, this oh is the, this is the continuation of A and B. We don't deserve this. I'm no. Just remind the audience. I just sit here and babble on the no. internet about other people's <laughs> used clothing. Like, like one time I saw a comment from like a new viewer and they were like, so people just send you stuff from Anthro? Yes, Anthro's? it is crazy. And I was like, I'm as in much disbelief as you. So Absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, I agree with you. That I'm we don't deserve you one. <laughs> okay, so first thing, I think there are labels on the outside boxes of these, but I I'm don't, doing my absolute I best to like, avert the eyes. I cannot get over these little vases. Those, those are, are so, so precious. Cute. Obviously, once again, breakable. And we so also, I would like to remind everybody that I do keep the boxes and I write what's on them. 
So when we're storing them, yeah. they have their nice little home. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what are these little are things? These, these are shot glasses. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so there's a little shamrock. There's we have Valentine's Day, we have St. Patrick's Day, we have Pride. We have good life. Witchy Day. We have the little... <laughs> these are so cute. And they're thick. Like it's a thick little We sock. also have so many of these because we're such basic. So much of these like what like embossed graphic these little, yeah. type things. We have like the pumpkin ones that match these. We have that and then ones. We have the bat ones. These are going to go perfect. Now we have spring ones. We also don't really oh have gosh. any good shot glasses. So this makes no. my life. <laughs> Not that we're taking shots. No. Well, I use them to like when to I make measure. when I make my Negroni. Not that there's anything wrong with taking shots, but like I am a we're, twenty we're literally five year old. I was gonna say we're too old. Who works? I am too old. Yeah. I can handle like one. <laughs> Maybe on a holiday. Okay, I need I need a glass of water. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> next up, we have something breakable again. I can't believe it. Oh, this is oh. oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This looks what very in breakable. The heck, is this another vase? Oh. oh my gosh, what is this? I see a beautiful print on this. Wowza! 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 Oh, are these like these? Might just be. Look at how precious these are. <laughs> look at how... Look at how cute these are! Look, can you see how crowded our room is? Once again, they look like... These are little bud vases. They are made to these look like so vintage. Precious. Yeah, what does it say? I don't know. Okay, there's a... I can like... VA Silver. I can enter in the, like, the these UPC on the, so... on the Anthro app. Oh, these are from Terrain. Which, if you don't these know, are... is like the Anthropology <sighs> Urban, like, outdoor. Not only is A&B so generous in giving, but they also know our taste to, like... Taste... A tea makers. These are wow. so adorable. Those are so beautiful. Okay, we have one more, even though there should be no more because this is too generous and we don't deserve all this. No, I love this. These are so pretty. I love that like vintage like look that they're supposed to have. Oh, it's the matching pitcher. <gasps> I look at how beautiful. Can you imagine this, this is, is my little is. my little glass of orange juice in the morning? Oh my gosh, How? this is so pretty. For when we can sit outside and we go out in the morning and we can have like a pitcher of orange juice. And I wouldn't just take shots of it. I would like have a glass of orange juice. <laughs> we'll do our orange juice shots in the my morning. My little like vitamin C shot. This is so beautiful. <laughs> I am in love. A and B, as I request every time, and please come forward and let us know who you are. Message me on something. Comment on something. I love her. Give a name. Okay. Give a link. Gosh. Give something. You are so so sweet and overly generous, and we do not deserve this. This is beautiful. Thank you. With the pulled handle. So much. That is so <sighs> cute. Okay, so we're gonna go have fun and like set these up in the house. Now. I know. Now we have to go <laughs> play with all of our new dishes. Um, thank you so much. Also, thank you to Laura. Like I said, I will link Laura's book down below. That is gonna be so much fun. To this go is gonna through. be like I'm gonna have a glass of wine. Yeah. And I'm gonna color. Yeah. And I'm gonna learn. Yes. So thank you this so much. This is so cool. And again, A and B, thank you so 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 much. You've always been so sweet and so kind to us and so generous. We will see you guys on Tuesday oh. for some fun. We're gonna go thrifting at the bins again. It's gonna be even better than the last time that we went and then we will show you what we got in the hall on thursday so let us know how your week is how your sales week was below and we will see you when we see you goodbye, goodbye.